Alright ladies and gentlemen of the 118 scale 3.75 inch 4 inch modern action figure community I'm back again with another video and in this video we're going to be discussing uh, zombie action figures and I thought it was only right with it being uh, the, ho the Halloween season is back upon us I'd like to take this opportunity to delve into uh, some of the uh, creepier figures if you will or some of the figures that um, that I guess are only fitting for this time of year so I guess first and foremost we're going to start off with zombie specimen 002 of uh, the zombie lab action figure line so let's get a look at the box It's um pretty much uh, similar to how we've seen them before we've talked about these figures in the past but these are some that I haven't touched on yet, but they're ultimately packaged fairly the same. Uh, nice insignia in the front that shows Zombie Lab. I like the way it's done. Shows a little bit of a like cartoon. Uh, I guess it's more of a comic book uh, illustration here. Very nice, very messed up looking. Um, this is the top. This is the side. The other side. The bottom. This is the back. And here, I guess you can look online. I don't know if this is still there, but um, zombielab.com. You can check that out and see if there's still any information on these figures out there. And hey, if you know anything about the police officer, not the zombie police officer, but the there was two police officers one was a zombie one was not one was still a living police officer and if you know anything of the living police officer uh shoot me a message and let me know where i can find it at because i've been looking i can't find that so anyway made in china adult collectible ages 15 and up and i guess it's because of the small parts here's some of the other figures uh offered in the in the wave this is series one wave three and it says here that they're com Compatible with uh, hacks figures or hacks, well, hacks figures, I guess. All right, first you have Zoe here and Bane. Those are still the living uh, members of this wave. And then you have Zombie 002 and Zombie 003. Um, 002 is the one we're discussing today. So let me get this box open if I can. Is it taped? All right. Let's get them out of this box here. Here he is. Let's see what kind of paperwork he comes with. A little card that shows you him in full zombie mode. It looks like someone has a uh, crosshair on him. And I don't know where they're aiming at, but that ain't right. It looks like they're aiming right at his uh, crotch area. Oh, well, he's a zombie. He ain't going to feel it. I don't know. Could be wrong. But anyway, there's a little something to read on the back here. Uh, you could pause and read that. Cool. Moving right along. Let's get a look at our um, zombie friend here. There you go. Awesome. Uh, the cracked concrete uh figure stand that we've seen before in this line hard plastic uh, we have the uh, abdominal slash spinal section we have the entrails section of the abdomen of the abdomen we have his uh, arm snack his jerky arm you know when you're a zombie you gotta have a jerky arm you know, it, it keeps you going. It's packed with, with all kinds of zombie proteins that a zombie may need. And uh, last but not least, here's the actual figure. Nicely done. I like how they actually used the bloody red on this figure. But, um, yeah, because you don't really see a lot of the figures 
having blood on them. They usually have like a different color, like a blue or something like that. So here's his face. Ooh, that is pretty, pretty ugly. That's a face only a mother zombie could love, I tell you that much. Um, very nicely done. Uh, double jointed at the knees. Uh, uh, feet move up and down, left and right. Um, single joint at the elbow, jointed at the hands right there. Both hands, both elbows, arms sway, arms up and down raising, head left and right, up and down. Awesome. This is a removable vest. You can take that off if you need to. And this is what he looks like. He's very nicely detailed. Very nicely detailed. I like him. Not a lot of people are into the zombie action figures, but I kind of like them for uh, if I ever wanted to do like a um, Walking Dead type of uh, diorama, then I have plenty of zombies to fill it with. So next, continuing on, we have Zombie 001, and I believe this is uh, Series 1, Wave 2. So it's not the same, uh, you know what, I think it is the same series. He's Wave 3 of the series. Hmm. You know what? I don't know how that works. But anyway, he's Series 1, Wave 2. Same box details. Nothing really different here. Okay, you got his uh, his uh, rendition, comic book rendition here of how he looks. And now let's get into this one. I believe this is going to be my uh, last one for this video because I don't want the video to run too long so um, let's get into this one all right let's get him out of this packaging here is his card yeah that's that's a good one right there I like that that's a good one right there you can read you can pause and read this here awesome Let's file that to the side. Let's get 001 out of his packaging. Again, nothing really different. You get his hard plastic cracked concrete stand. Uh, lower section with uh, exposed spinal column. Uh, jerky, zombie jerky snack. And uh, abdomen with... Uh, uh, protruding entrails and let's get a look at the guy here uh, I guess you could say he had a long day at work a hard day at work maybe it's going to be his last day of work um, this is what you have here again using the blood color look at that face there you go same movement as the other figure double jointed knees up and down swivel uh, feet elbows single jointed uh, jointed hands, left and right head, up and down, and removable jacket. There you have it. Let's get a look at him. I noticed no pig holes in the back on these, but what zombie really needs a pig hole? You know that zombie doesn't really need a backpack. What's he going to keep in there? His uh, jerky arm, his jerky treat? So yeah, that's pretty much what you have on this figure right here. So, if you're into uh, zombie figures and you feel you want to create like a, a um, diorama for your figures or something, it'd be cool to get your hands on some of these zombies. Um, they're not that expensive from what I last saw, but you know how this uh, world is. This hobby is, it can get expensive minute by minute, hour by hour. So, I'm going to be putting all this stuff back in. I think I'm going to end this video right here. Um, I'm going to give these figures, I'd say, uh, you know what? I'm not going to grade them. Uh, I'll let you come up with your own grade on how you view, view these figures. Uh, they're zombies. A lot of people don't like them because, you know, but I like them for reasons as I expressed earlier. So with that being said, if you have any questions about these figures, Feel free to comment down below. I'll get back to you at my earliest convenience. Um, 
yeah, hey, if you're into these sort of things, put them in your collection. I don't see why not. All right. So with that being said, peace. Thank you. We're going to keep this going. All right. Later.